All right, here we go. The koi after the fight. Now I showed you yesterday how bad these suckers were fighting. I put a live plant in there in the corner right here and they put it up and it was just a floating like reef kind of on the top of the plant. Now the bottom one and the top one were defending it tooth and nail and that one white one with the orange head kept trying to eat and get in that plant. The little angel uh, uh, or what are those with the long fins just stood in the bottom and that one and that one were beating up that one the whole day yesterday that was trying to get at the plant up in the up in the uh, the tank. They completely devoured the plant. They stirred up all the gravel. So that one right there, the, I would venture to say that's a female and that's a male. And I think they were attempting to make that to lay the eggs. And that one wasn't having it. That one was actually trying to either eat the eggs that they laid or I don't know. He was mad that he wasn't, uh, she wasn't uh, the one on the eggs. That one stood completely out of it. So that one right now and that one, those two all morning been in the quarter gasping for air. That one's face is completely red, completely beat up, and the middle fin, oh, there was a, a placosomus. The middle fin on the riser is torn in half. Okay, so these two are fighting tooth and nail, and you see both of them gasping for air right now. I completely drained the tank yesterday. They were like, their fins, half of them were sticking out because the whole bottom, they just discombobulated the whole bottom of the tank so the only thing this tank is going off of is that marineland 350 back there okay this is the tank they were in that cracked so the crayfish been doing okay in there they're living their best life there's some cabbage in there floating around that they're eating but what i noticed see that's the plant that i had in there that plant at the top that i just threw in there it was a nice bunch and they just tore it apart the crayfish are probably going to eat some of that. Uh, but what I need to do is I need to fix this tank. Because I love how the plants stick out the water. Those are all plastic because marbled crayfish are vegetarian. So those are all plastic. But everything sticking out the water, the marbled crayfish doesn't have room to hide. Because the marbled crayfish hide. There's like 15 of them that can get in each one of those plants. So here's what the marbled crayfish See, look at that that king mama right there inside of that decorative rock. They're all over right here. So my thing with this right here is I'm going to put a ratchet strap around the whole tank. Not to bog it down, but this is getting drained out because it's still leaking. It's getting drained out and those marbled crayfish are getting a whole new video. Put in that rain barrel that I'm repairing right now. A whole different video. And then I'm going to drain this one completely down again because of the crack. It cracked in the corner and it is leaking. But it, it leaked only to where the power head is right now. That's going to get off of it. So this, this tank right here still has the under gravel filter. I took the under gravel filter off of that tank because that was the crayfish tank. But they get underneath the under gravel filter and they live and they're naturally picketed. it. They they pick at the uh, caulk, okay? So that's coming off right here. There's enough filtration. With that power head, there's an under gravel filter. I got the heater over here. The uh, That's duckweed. The heater, the thermostat, then there's another little filter back there. So this is more than enough filtration. You see, this one's crystal clear. That one's still kind of uh, cloudy. But yeah, those two koi that we're fighting are gasping for air up there right now. So either way, stay tuned. All these are coming out. They're going in the 55 gallon barrel. This tank is going to get cleaned out. All the caulk is going to get peeled off of it. And then I'm going to seal that with epoxy at the top while it's held together with a ratchet strap. I'm going to seal the outside with epoxy. And then I'm going to pick up some of these. So after I take the ratchet strap off, I'm going to epoxy these in the whole top of the corner of this tank. This tank will be good as new when it's done. The koi made it to fight another day. The koi are going to go into the 240 when that one's fixed. Talk to you later. Subscribe, like, and share.